The viewing angle is still the same. Hmm. The viewing angle is still the same. Hmm. It's not different? Okay guys, so today we're going to go ahead and answer a couple different questions regarding the Brawl Stars maps. Now, the first question is how will the additional tiles to the sides actually affect the meta? Because they will have an impact in some ways. And then also, how will the new viewing angle affect gameplay? Or is there a new viewing angle? I mean, that's confusing. Frank said that there was not a new viewing angle, but it clearly looks like a different viewing angle. So we're gonna talk about that as well. Now we'll be giving some more sneak peeks to this update. So make sure you guys subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss it. I mean, that's what everybody's doing, right? Okay guys, now before we can actually talk about the increasing the map size affecting the meta, it is important to talk about why I think they made this change to the maps. Not just because some guy was like, hey, let's add more tiles. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Uh, no. Let's, let's give some backstory here. So when Brawl Stars was really originally created, it was in portrait mode, similar to Clash Royale. You played it up and down like that. Uh, the brawlers were much, much smaller. You actually couldn't even see the whole width of the map because the camera was angled in and zoomed in on the brawlers in a way that that just wasn't a possibility. Now, when the game switched from portrait to landscape, the dev team zoomed out of the maps to show more of it at a time. But when they did that, the brawlers then would just be super, super tiny and looked like a bunch of ants crawling around. So what they did is they made the brawlers bigger and increased their movement speed. Maybe they just shrunk the maps? Okay guys, they didn't just shrink the maps, but you could argue in some way that by doing this, they actually shrunk the maps. So ever since Landscape, we've been playing Brawl Stars in a smaller map than the game was actually originally intended for. Now, they did some balance changes to kind of help with that, but even then, I would still say that the maps have felt more cramped than they used to. So it does make sense that Supercell would want to increase the size of the map. Now, previously, the maps were 17 tiles by 33 tiles, and after close inspection, I have determined that the maps are not going to be bigger height wise they are not increasing it the reason why people thought that this was going to happen was because of some gameplay showing forks out which is a map in, in heist but the safe had actually been moved away from its original position away from the wall but confirmed from the gameplay of that map and from crystal cavern the maps are not any deeper okay some of the maps have been slightly altered including forks out where the safe was actually moved away from the edge of the map and a little bit closer. Now by increasing the size of the map to the left to, by two tiles and to the right by two tiles, they therefore increase the map size to 21 by 33. I mean, that doesn't sound too, too much, right? It's actually a 24% increase to every single map for 3v3 in Brawl Stars. This will absolutely change the meta in some way, but the question is how? Will the increased size mean more space to travel for close range brawlers or create more opportunities for long range brawlers to hit their target? Will it mean more escape routes for brawlers to avoid getting spawn trapped? Or will it mean more choke points? These are the types of questions that I have asked myself in preparation for today's video. Now my theory straight off the bat here is that it will definitely depend on the maps and how Supercell actually adds those two tiles to each side to the 32 non-showdown maps. But overall, the addition of the two tiles to each side will be a slight buff to close range brawlers and a slight nerf to long range brawlers. Not a ton, but it will impact some things and we're gonna talk about that. I wanted to talk about how having more movement options is better for close range brawlers and worse for long range brawlers. Now for long range brawlers, having more options of movement pathing doesn't necessarily mean positive things for you. Typically, you'll only want to have additional moving options when you are trying to escape. But even then, your movement pattern is most likely going to be determined by where the enemy brawler is and just going in the opposite direction of that enemy brawler. And on top of that, for a long range brawler, you want as few options for the enemy brawler to escape as possible, because more options means that you have to choose the correct option when firing at those enemy brawlers. In fact, this is why Piper is so incredibly good on Echo Chamber, because Echo Chamber just has one little pathway to the middle where the gem grab mine is, and that means that she just basically knows, like, yeah, I'll just shoot straight up there 
and it's gonna hit a brawler most of the time. For a long range brawler, if you can get your enemy into one choke point or may put them into a situation where they only have one option to move, you are more likely to hit the enemy brawler because you know where to aim at. Now, on the flip side of things, for short range brawlers, if the enemy player has more movement options, it doesn't actually matter very much because you're just going to choose the closest path to get close to them. In essence, your movement is just going to be based on where they're moving in order for you to close that gap. And once you do get close range, you are bound to hit more shots, and it doesn't really matter if you have those different moving path, uh, pathing options. Once you do get close range, you are bound to hit them, and it doesn't really matter if they have more pathing options, because you'll just you just keep on following them, and it's, it's not too hard to do that and react to their movement in Brawl Stars. But having more movement options is a big advantage for a close range brawler as far as defense is concerned, as far as being allowed to duke shots or dodge those shots. You don't want there to be only one single choke point because that one single choke point means that you won't be able to get past it because there will be brawlers out there with longer range just firing off right at that choke point. There won't be anything you can possibly do. Instead, you want there to be five different pathing options so that if, the, if an enemy brawler is firing off against one, you just choose the other or you, you actually influence things and use them to your advantage so you're uh, forcing them to waste ammo on guessing, and on top of that, you're also using you're also using that as an opportunity to dodge or juke their shots, which will allow you to close the gap to the enemy. So, like I said, I think that close range brawlers will be getting a slightly positive buff indirectly because they increase map size. But Supercell has over 30 different 3v3 maps that to play around with and do various different things. They very well could actually use those extra tiles to help buff indirectly those long range brawlers in different situations. Situation. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens. Okay guys, it is time to talk about the second part of today's video, which is a very interesting one. At least it was very interesting to me. We're going to start talking about the viewing angle and whether or not it will actually impact gameplay. Spoiler alert, I think that it will change things very, very, very slightly but it mostly only just because of how your brain works and not because of the actual changes to the maps. Okay, so in the last Brawl Talk when talking about the 3D maps, Frank said, And for all you hardcore players out there, don't be afraid, the viewing angle is still the same. That can be really incredibly confusing, especially if you look at the gameplay uh, and compare it to the old version of the map versus the new version of the map. It really looks like the viewing angle is different. By the way, big credit to Spiyuk for this image here. He's a Spanish YouTuber, and you guys should definitely check him out, especially if you speak Spanish. He's a really great guy. Now, when I say that this is confusing, I really mean it. In fact, when he said that, I was super confused, so I went ahead and pulled it up on Photoshop and used a digital protractor to actually measure out the difference difference, which is about seven degrees. Now that confused me because I've met Frank and he's a pretty fantastic guy. In fact, without Frank's passion for Brawl Stars, there is a very real possibility that uh, Supercell might have killed the game. Dun dun dun. Seriously though, no joke. I really did not think that Frank would lead us astray, so I wanted to do a little bit more research regarding this situation and see exactly what he was talking about, especially because it absolutely looks like the viewing angle is different and that players will have to adapt to it. So I went ahead and pulled out a screenshot of the gameplay and went to my computer to try and take a deeper look into things. Okay, I wanted to examine two different important things. First of all, whether there is a difference in what we can see in game like will we be able to see further on the map or closer or will be will we be losing some sight or things like that i also wanted to examine the viewing angle and whether or not that will actually impact gameplay now i have very very carefully measured out the tiles on both the old versus the new map sizes and the sight range is pretty much dang exactly the same, okay? Now, I've looked at various viewing angles and different shots on different maps and things like that. I've I actually spent over two hours analyzing the maps. Uh, but I'm like 90% certain that the amount of the map that we see has not changed a bit, or that if it has changed, it's very, very, very minimal. The only difference then that I wanted to check out and look at was the viewing angle, because, I'm sorry, Frank, it looks different. Here is an image of Crystal Cavern to see how the current game works. Okay, so there are two grid lines at the bottom, and those are two tiles apart. There are also two grid lines at the top, and those are also two tiles apart. I used the walls and the grass to determine them and make sure that they were exactly correct. The purple to the sides are to represent the walls. Now here is an image of how the game will look after the update. The two lines at the bottom are the same two lines from the previous image, and the two lines at the top are the same two lines from the previous 
previous image as well, obviously scaled to the new viewing angle. Once again, the purple on the sides represents the walls before they added the two tiles to both sides of the map. Now with the old viewing angle, the distance between the lines are exactly the same because it looked two dimensional and we were looking straight down at the map in essence. With the new viewing angle, the distance between the lines are different. They are wider apart down below and they are closer together up top. Quick important side note, if we compare these two images side by side, it might look like we have slightly less sight now, but this was actually due to me uh, positioning the images slightly off with each other. I forgot to take into consideration camera movement. If you just move up one tile, the camera might not even move at all, but if you move two tiles, it'll slowly start catching up to you. I didn't take this into consideration when I took the screenshot, and the only reason why I am explaining this to you is because I just wanted to assure you that even though it does look like we lose a little bit of sight, I've double checked and I've triple checked. If it is actually different, the difference is very negligible, and this is also partially due to the fact that we are now looking in three dimensionally. It took me a long time to piece everything all together, and so that's why I'm explaining that, but it's not really that important. Important. So really what all this means is that the brawlers on your side of the map are going to feel closer to you and the brawlers on the enemy side of the map will feel further away from you. After my two hours of analyzing things, I could not think of a single disadvantage or advantage that would occur in game because of this change. So what is the difference? Well, first of all, it's very aesthetically pleasing and really good to look at. But second of all, it's much more immersive and will definitely encourage a more captivating experience. But there was one big difference that I was slightly worried about. The 17 tiles wide that we use to shoot our shots right now is going to be squeezed into about 15.5 tiles. This will either have a big impact on our ability to aim accurately or zero impact on it, depending on how Supercell converts the 2D aiming joysticks on our device into 3D gameplay. If the developers make it so that a 30 degree angle change on our 2D joystick moves 30 de degrees on our 2D screen, this would have a big impact. While we are viewing 3D gameplay, we are actually doing so on a flat screen, which is two-dimensional. In this situation, it would require much more smaller movements when firing up to be precise, and much bigger movements when firing back. But if the developers make it so that a 30-degree angle change on our 2D joysticks moves 30 degrees from the perspective of our brawlers, this would have zero impact on things. This is because this is actually exactly what has been happening in Brawl Stars since soon after the landscape update because Brawl Stars has not actually been 2D for the past nine months. It has been 3D with two dimensional maps that look flat. What? Let me explain this. So when Brawl Stars was first released in portrait mode, it was a top-down, two-dimensional shooter. But when they switched the game to landscape, they wanted to fit the very large maps on our screen so that we could see the entire width of the map. But when they did that two-dimensionally, brawlers with long ranges like Piper had their shots firing clear off the map and you couldn't even see the rest of her range. So what Brawl Stars did is they angled things back a bit and made it so that the tiles went from a ratio of one to one to look like an aspect ratio of about six to five. That was their quick and easy roundabout way uh, for the developer team to quickly convert 2D gameplay into a 3D game without having to redo all of their artwork. At least not until they knew that their game was going global and that this massively large task was actually going to be worth it. They needed to do this so that you could actually angle the camera back a little bit and see further down the map. Now it was when I was writing, it was actually when I was writing the script for this video and I was contemplating all these things that I realized what Supercell had actually done. They did not change the viewing angle in game, they changed the maps we see to match what was already going on in Brawl Stars. What? So when Frank said that they did not change the viewing angle, he wasn't lying. There was just a really complicated answer that was gonna take, how, how long is this video? That many minutes to explain what was going on. And I assume that most people probably didn't even notice what he said and just moved on with their life. But I'm not like most people. I'm a brawl nerd. <laughs>
Now it's important to recognize that this isn't actually like official or anything like that. This is just the result of somebody who's completely obsessed with Brawl Stars, enough to analyze the 44 seconds of gameplay that they gave us in the most recent Brawl Talk to the extent that I was willing to do. And it could be completely wrong. Maybe Supercell will actually change the angles of the joystick, but I really don't think that they would make a stupid move like that to actually make things more complex than they need to. And that's why I think that we won't really actually have to adjust the angle of any of our joystick movements. But I can almost guarantee you that almost everybody will feel a difference because of our brains. But the cool thing about our brains is that they're plastic. No, that wasn't an insult at your intelligence. Neuroplasticity actually refers to your brain's ability to change and adapt to situations, and I think it won't take very long for people to actually, like, really get used to this. I think that most, like, people that play consistently will probably have it down and won't feel any different after, like, a week. Probably even faster than that, honestly. Well, guys, that was a really weird video. It honestly could have been one of the weirdest that I've ever done. A very in-depth analysis of Brawl Stars' viewing angle. That's... Is that even useful? I feel like it's not. <laughs> I imagine that most people are just gonna be like, what did I just watch? I guess... This video was made for me because I found it interesting. So if you thought it was interesting, please let me know in the comment section below so I don't at least feel like too crazy. <laughs> Brawl Stars. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for going the extra mile and supporting my channel. And for now, guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars. <laughs>